Sir, I promise you, if you are dating Jesus, you still forever. <laughs> because aside from the fact that some people like trouble, trouble, they just like trouble. Always. Always. <laughs> is that your differentials, and I don't know what I mean by differentials, mm-hmm. so that you are a human being in a different species. You will have differences. Jesus might want to take you, but you want to take ice cream. <laughs> Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yes. Yes. Because you are bad. It's like you are different. Mm-hmm. My point. See life as different from others. Don't feel anybody is bad. They are just different. Uh, let me give another hint to that. You are relating to somebody, talking every night to the person, and you say you will not develop affection. No. Attention naturally breeds an affection. It's not a deep prayer point. If you just keep talking to this every night, you will still start to have affection for you. Anything you give attention to, you generate affection for. So some of, sometimes some of us used to feel like we are above it. No, 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 no. I, I can't have affection. It's lie. Mm-hmm. If you keep talking to that organizer man every weekend, you soon be introduction. I promise you. Say no, 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 no. Me, I'm organizing. You, I promise you, it's a matter of attention, breeding, affection. You have a date, a relationship, and you think you cannot affect two guys and two people. It will affect you. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Somebody else comes and says, you know, I was talking about something else, and I need to change our date. You know, it's very important that you don't misunderstand what I'm saying and take it off the record, off the shot. When I say make for yourself friends of the righteous man, I didn't say you should, friends of not, friends, our righteous man should meet you as friends. Mm-hmm. It simply means that you do not live a life. That is void of relationships. That's what I was sharing with you. It does not mean that that kind of lifestyle of the unrighteous man should not influence you. For example, now some of us, we are going to take time out. We try to take time out. Just what's that for you? Some people don't know what's that for you. Some things that are wrong. Because they say you should make friends with the unrighteous man, they do not say friends of the unrighteous man should make you. Taking alcohol as a minister is wrong. Small, small sharks, saying that it does not corrupt your righteousness, <laughs> you lie to yourself. The problem is not the sharks or the bats or something. The problem is that that thing has control over you. Are you listening? Yes, yes, sir. Because when we preach and teach righteousness, people think that we are giving you to moral failures. Mm. That's not the case. That's not the case. The discipline. The power of the discipline essentially is that it demonstrates that you are in control of your actions and appetites. You know, you can't just say, I don't matter, it doesn't matter. You are a secondary smoker. <laughs> so, you know what I mean by like secondary smoker? Yeah. Because I don't want bars more fully mm. with you. Know, you can pick that. You are drugs. You, see, you know some mischief. So he says, do not be deceived. Evil communications will corrupt good manners. What about dating? Amongst ourselves, we should be ethical. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking. And it's not me really thinking that maybe somebody's going to tell me something. I keep telling you, if you keep thinking like that, it means you don't know I'm a man. True. I stand here and say so. Yes, so, be careful. Are you listening? Yes, yes sir. Be careful. Do that in a date. Pay attention to your date. I've been married to one man now for over 20 years. As if we're actively married over 18 years. It is enough that. Yes, sir. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I don't, I don't snooze on that. Do you understand? I don't snooze like as if, no, 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 no. Man, who's that person? Anyone I'm not complete with, they do everything. And I just need to be guys family, family, family. So that I'm that gentleman. He says, I'm not insecure. I'm just vigilant. Not insecure. I'm saying it in our presence. Now, so that you don't say that. Uh, 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 no, there's something I'm telling you. Now, don't now turn it into insecurity mode, though, because some people, it's just fear. You just not seen a sample of a good marriage. So you perpetually care that your friend will be And now, do you understand? That's yes, different. Because some people can't care small, yes. They will take it as yes. No, 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 no. 
it, it's just a caution, you know, that strikes, that smacks. Somebody's calling my wife by 11 o'clock. No, my wife is not that sick. So I will ask, that is the pronouncing it. Let's try. Why? You will find what you are looking for. You will find it. At the same time, you that is a spouse, pay attention to your spouse. That sense of legality makes people deceive that nothing can happen. Mm-hmm. With your wedding band, they will take your husband. Mm-hmm. Meet. Mm-hmm. Meet. Because you are in the mood. Mm-hmm. And if you are over afraid again, they will still take you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 are you listening? Yes, yes sir. Are you listening? All of us were tired. <laughs> God bless you, Andy. We will detect you by signals. So, so, uh, I'm going to pick it, pick it, Paul. Just drop this over here. It's like you can't hide the gun. Don't worry. 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 Don't so let's be paying attention. I also want to say that those of us that are strengthened in faith, we should correct wrongdoing. We see wrongdoing is going on. If you are not forcing, don't keep quiet and think past what it says. I don't. Are you listening? Yes, yes sir. sir. If you don't know what to say or you're not sure of it, bring it to me. I'm your father. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not great headed for nothing. Yes, sir. I'm a strong man on ground. Yes, sir. Bring it to me and I know what to do. And stop being afraid if pastor will get where you are. It's not your church, it's God's church. I know what to do. That's why I'm here. Are you listening? Yes, yes sir. That's why I'm here. So, some brothers, you want to put their hands on my They are destroying sisters in social media. Great young sisters are giving our labita and sincerity and no man. But they are dating someone they didn't find. The claim could get it. <laughs> sister collected six kids from a brother because he's not dating that person. You are mischievous. <laughs> All those type of things are things that Satan can use to distract what we're trying to do. We will now leave our focus and start to pay attention to emotional. And I told you, emotions are the best things to provoke disagreement. Because people will feel they are right, but they are wrong. Emotions. So we should be right. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's all try to mark and manage our emotions. Let's try to understand our honest limitations. You are not infallible. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Uh, you are not infallible. You are not perfect. You are a work in progress. Yes, sir. When correction comes, stop thinking like as if they destroyed your destiny. Yes. No, it's not that bad. Huh? When they are correcting, stop saying you used to do. Stop looking for the person's own example to do. Take your own test and be wiser. The Bible says, the wise shall increase in learning. Is there any part of the house? Proverbs 24. So that's five. You say something about learning. The wise man is strong. Yeah, but it's it talks about increasing in learning. Chapter five. Chapter five. Chapter five. One plus five. Proverbs one five. Thank you. That's what I'm going to say. One five. Wise man shall learn and increase. Aha. The wise man shall hear and increase learning. You will listen. You will learn more. Not to think that the thing they are talking to, the thing they are talking to, have the right attitude to learn. Are we listening? Yes, yes sir. sir. See. This life is governed by principles, philosophies, and there are different ways to arrive there. Some people don't live by any principles, they just live anywhere they learn things, and the moon just comes as it's dreamy, as it's dreamy. Mm-hmm. And true, true, they survive some things as it's dreamy. You know how you just do silly things, and you get some marks. Yes. And because you got some marks, and that exam you passed, you now believe that's wicked. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes, yes, because you repeat it in the Jambai. 
Did you see that? Hallelujah. Praise God. So the word of God says, for the giftings and the callings, calling, make a pardon, of God are without repentance. What this simply means is that these are you receiving. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, some of us here used to come to just meet with someone that found it. For the gifts and the calling of God are without mm-hmm. and what it's saying there is that every calling has a gift, every gift has a calling. Yes, sir. So when you have a calling, you can know the gifts that should follow it. Mm-hmm. For example, you are here tonight, you've never healed anybody, you've never prayed for anybody, no spiritual thing has ever happened to you before, but you are called to be an evangelist. That calling indicates that the gifts of an evangelist are already with you. Even though you have not done the test evangelistic work. And God will not repent simply because you went to smoking gold for three minutes. It has not left, his calling has not changed. You know, some people falls and feel that because he fell, he has made a mistake of time to die. Mm-hmm. God has changed his mind. God will never change his mind about it. Mm-hmm. Yes. He will never. I say this with such authority, having service for the angels. Because some people just disqualify themselves from God's goodness simply because they don't do what they do to rise to what God wants them to do, in the sense that maybe they fall short one way or the other. You must never give up on your comments. Never. Yes, sir. Never. Yes, sir. Don't, don't take your bullet to shoot yourself. Mm-hmm. God's callings are without repentance. Whatever God has called is without repentance. Yeah. Are you listening? Yes, yes sir. sir. So the word of God says that the gifts and the calling of God are without repentance. God does not repent or change his mind about what he has decided. You can delay, you can go anyhow, but his mind is his mind. Mm-hmm. Because when he was making it, he was making it with in view. Mm-hmm. He was not oblivious of the fact that you could step aside at some point. Mm-hmm. Never give up on your calling. But similarly, if you find yourself with certain victims, you can tell your calling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you see my point? So you find yourself being someone who is a persuader. Smoking your yarns are sweet. Smoking you are persuading. Your gist sweet like fire, like ice cream in your mouth. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That gift is not for two still. It's for two <laughs> But there are a lot of people like that that think that because they are sweet talkers and they are grand locals, that uh, that means that they are gifty or not. We need to move babes. Move babes. Because they know the effect of their English and their very tone voice texture mm-hmm. on the line of. Very <laughs> 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 so the international is that good. Instead of just to get born again, I use that. So I am not already born again, but it just enjoy the canal. Mm. 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 That there's always only the doctor that doesn't respond to me. But I don't know what's wrong. I know this can respond in different ways. They are already shaking you, but they probably like nothing. Not nothing. <laughs> 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 I know when you talk to guys here, yeah, so, so, so just go my way around. Mm-hmm. Great. Yeah. But that gifting is for the gospel. Yes, sir. Don't go with it. This is what I'm saying. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is about people, people. People's people. Yes. You know what I mean? People's people. Yes, sir. Yeah. In the gifting. So you can find your, your pocket. Through that column there, refer to the pocket. Okay? You can find your pocket. Through for example, someone who can sell it, if you are that kind of person, the equipment of the market that you go to, they are evangelists. Mm. Can sell it. Like me, I can sell it. I used to sell all the things. Oh, mm. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> 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 you know, I'm not kidding. 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 I'm I collected the money. I collected my money. My money, my money, my money. I'll excuse you if I take a look. So I go one, two, three, four, five. That's eight thousand six and six. God bless you. 
I saw after you, Mama. Yeah. I saw in the bank. In the bank. I saw Papa Queen. Mata.
this one, the audio is not very perfect. Okay, okay. The message I preached to you is the same. Mm. Yes. Yes. of God. Um, I'm, I'm dropping down myself now, so this is my question of uh, not sorry, sorry. I'm sending it now to the age. I plan to do this myself here. Yeah, so I want to listen to it to complement what I'm preaching to you. Okay. So help me. The, I listened again to myself today, and I was blessed. Um, when you drop your family, right? Which one else? So we all speak the family. So try to listen to it. It's a very nice message. Very nice. Let it do the blessing you to do. Fresh. Try to listen. Are you doing? Because I'm paying attention to you. Show you. I'm watching the energy. I was trying to step up your feet to get more sleep. But you get my hand. Alright. Um, so we've spoken about those five things. And I've spoken about the place of passion. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. I've said often and again that passion is a very major part of the world in life. Yes, sir. If you want to get the best of art of anything, you need to be passionate. Yes, sir. In fact, in that message, I call it having a passionate purpose. Mm-hmm. That's why I tell you, be passionate for it. The next thing I said in that place was be persistent pursuit. Number three is a, an accurate perspective. Number four was a present sensibility. Number five was a complementary companionship. You get what you just read. That was passionate pursuit. Persistent, passion, passionate purpose, persistent pursuit, accurate perspectives, present flexibility, complementary company. Now, I, I did say that in the fulfillment of your purpose, you need people. Yes, sir. Do you agree with that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And on Sunday, I said something about being an apprentice. I didn't know that song. Do you remember that yes, song? At that video that I sent, it was three years ago. And I think the old house said, Yeah, smart. Yeah. I've gotten feedback from those people. Very strong feedback. Very strong feedback. Very strong feedback. So I'm so encouraged. We just do more by this. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah. So, in talking about your purpose. I did mention, by the way, let me ask you, on a day-to-day basis, I want to recommend how I manage my own situation this week. I try to put my to-dos, my goals, and it's big. You get what I just said? Inside a schedule group. To do. So there's such a thing called duty. And it's like school duties now and duties. No duties. By God's grace. Yes. Duties. 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 By God's grace. So I need to pay 13 pins on the day. Every month. Every month for the past 13 days. To do. And then to go. Yes, sir. I don't know. So try to structure this. Let me have organized. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Your know, always is tell your head to organize like this. Yes, After a while, you're confused. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? There are some people to eat that had to be shepherd. Your pastor will come with that. So try to organize. I miss you. Yes, sir. The reason I need to tell you this is because I realized that some of us. Your personal lifestyle affects our corporate experience. Mm-hmm. When it's time to preach, shows that we want to embed that fear in our members. Because we're not organized. So you often now you're not been asking to be offered to pray. Because you feel that those that pray are more special than you. Nobody's more special than you. If your body language has their difference. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Those that help me schedule the prayers. 
check your body language. Sorry, but even if you call it that, you will not be received. Like, even if it's so, you say something. And it's not because people are not organized. So when you have a disorganized team, it affects the history. Do you understand? Those type of personality disorganization. And for example, when you come to church, you want to learn something from our church. For example, this meeting we hold every one This IPP one is in effect. Some things are not like this. Yeah. Some things are not exactly like this. So I want you to take all that discussion very seriously. Now, if I go to the second part of what I was saying, you know that some books have been placed on the group, on the support. I want to add one or two more things. You can only find it. So I try that to think that you all are going to be I don't do that. If, if you have something you're saying, there's something a few weeks of I never do that. I mean, you know that. Mm -hmm. So I want you to check. Um, there's a book. It's titled. Um, okay. It's titled Following God's Plans and Purpose for Life. Mm -hmm. And I can take it. Please let me find it. It's a very good book. You see, while your pastor is very solid, there are some people that are doing well. Eh? Don't take it to me, God. Alright? I want a church that reads. You know, I wrote up last time. A reading church cannot be easily deceived. You can't be easily deceived. So, and when you do less of counseling, answers will be appealing. Huh? And there are some things going on in the church that you see from the attorney. You don't know what I'm pastor. Mm -hmm. That simply means. There are things that my eye will not see, that you will see. That if you notice going on, please tell me. You get back? Yes, sir. You see one brother doing this correct way, or one elder, or deacon, or something, doing something for me. Let me know. It might not be perfect, but it's my job to know. Yes, sir. Are you listening? Yes, yes sir. sir. I have enough standard. Your, mm -hmm. The road of your correction is not easy. Mm -hmm. So your, your job is not to correct me. And don't see like as if ah, I'm going to do a fufu. You are a very terrible person to let your pastor know the truth. It's not a fufu. It's called sharing intelligence. There's a difference. The motive is different. Mm. You see a leader doing something beneath what the leader should do. Mm. And you think it doesn't influence him. As a leader, he's passing all the glam beach and everything publicly, even privately himself. There's some things you stay away from. Even if you have the liberty to do it, don't do it, especially that it's corrupt or that it's evil. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, yeah. sir. So, it's not to say alcohol is bad. It's to say for the purpose of the state of waters, we will not drink it in the first place. Yes, sir. Please, do you guys get what I'm saying? Yes, yes sir. sir. So, having said that, I want to point out to us that your next assignment is after knowing your purpose. You know, I told you that your purpose. Is what you give your life meaning. Yes. Your life is arguably meaningless when purpose is unknown. You need to know that your real self worth is not in how tall you are, but how much purpose you give. And that's what I was trying to say when I said just Christ lives at three and a half years. Yes, sir. That's what yes, I was trying to say. Yes, yes. Thirty three and a half years. That's young, sir. That's not a fortunate year. By, in that sense, do you know what I mean? Yes, sir. It almost made it make, make sense. And we are posting now. Jesus died at three and a half years. He's not a good example. <laughs> no, I'm not that kind of guy now. I'm over it. Do you understand? Yes, sir. But purpose makes it make, make sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you said I live nine or something years. <laughs> His achievements was <laughs> made up. <laughs> and that was because it was Enoch's son. Divinity flowed in Enoch. That's what made him stay long. My point is that don't be afraid of death. Are you listening? Yes, yes, sir. Be, be interested in a life without purpose. Be afraid of a life that does not fulfill purpose. That's, that's the most important thing. Purpose. And I say again. Your purpose is not just to make money. That is not your purpose. Your work is not your purpose. Exactly. Your purpose seeks to glorify God and serve man. You must make sure that it is incorporated in your activities. 
For some of us, your work here only services humanity, does not glorify God. Make sure that your work on earth, please, are you listening? Yes, yes sir. That your work on earth does not only glorify God, but it serves humanity. People are serviced from your work. I'm not talking about preaching in church or singing choir. I'm saying that what you do when you do what you do has humanity in mind and eternity in mind. That's what I'm saying. For example, some of us now, you should know it now, that whatever you do on earth, you are only rewarded on earth. Your salary is part of your reward, your pension is part of your reward. But eternity will query you. For example, one of the things that makes eternity count is the kingdom of God. Let's be very unequivocal. So, where one of the places you should know that you should be your hope is in the church. So, Ephesians 10, 9 verse 10 says, Whatsoever your hands find to do, if you use your promise, you don't know your calling, you don't know your gifts, you give it all. He said, Whatever your hands find to do, do it with all your hearts. Be doing it with all your hearts. Be doing what God tells you to do with all your hearts. I don't know my purpose. Be doing whatever your hands find to do with all your heart. I said last week that your purpose starts from the generic to becoming the specific. Yes, you remember I said all this? Yes, yes, sir. From the generic to the specific. So generic purpose I shared on Sunday. Who can remind us of the thing I shared? One, relationship. Yes, Two, worship. Three, responsibility. Yes, Four, reconciliation. Five, dominion. Remember I shared this? Yes, so today I want to speak about pursuing purpose. And I'm speaking specifically about distractions eh, to a great destiny. Your purpose has a promise of a great destiny. If you pursue your purpose, you cannot arrive in smallness. You know your purpose will scream who you marry, who you can marry. There are some women now, for example, that will tell you, I can't be a pastor or a pastor's wife. That alone should check me to and say, this is not my wife. Mm-hmm. If she cannot handle it. Because the pastor's wife should be hospitable. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Well, I'm not saying she'll have no one you have, but at least be kind. Yes, sir. Some have zero tolerance. What is this nonsense? Must you be my husband every night? <laughs> what you can't you just say without keep your beauty to yourself? <laughs> you chase the church. Mm-hmm. You chase the church. You guys know what I'm saying. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. I should be honest. Must you place my husband every night? That's how you people come. Oh, no, she. Anyway. <laughs> that can make church grow. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you need to check. If your wife is not very fine and you are trying to marry her as a pastor, you should have plenty of beauty. Say, Pastor, that's a long time. I know beauty is nice of build up, but there's something called universal beauty. <laughs> <laughs> you don't tell us that this world our beauty is inside our heart. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we want to see the beauty <laughs> of this world. Do you guys know what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. <laughs> if I say, ah, Pastor, that's why you change your relationship. Yes, that's why I change my life. That's why I, I, I knew that this floor, there will be finer people than her. That we might affect her morale. Yeah. They pass the night. That's why. Go and kill. Yeah. I knew that. I was on. You know, we are old enough to say that. But one of the things I didn't want was to be Islamic background. I didn't want to be going for the guy or the food or the chances of arguing. Are we going to church or not to church? You know, those type of things. I like the person. But I knew that these things were disqualifications. I knew that I can't pursue that. I'm going to tell you, your purpose can screen the things you do and not do. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yes, sir. That's why you are liking. You are liking because she's beautiful and her beauty just captures you like your, your, your childhood oh, yes. imagination. That thing you have been carrying, carrying, carrying. Uh, and when you screen through the eyes of purpose, you might see that she will not stand the test of time. Mm-hmm. Intolerance. Very tasty. It's in the angry. Cha 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 cha. Relax. This is what you want to disobey your parents for. I'm going to go ahead. Is this what you want to do? Are you sure? I, I know women can be very careless sometimes. I don't mean that you're any sense of disrespect. It's as it's doing that they're doing it. 
And that thing is a demon pressing your body. How some people's stature looks small when their fear is big. They look small, but with large fear, inflated fear. Inflated fear. Number two, that constrains a person or distracts a person around friends. Yeah, friends or friendship like what? Proverbs 
men shall be wise. But a companion of fools will not be foolish. You need to be interested in the kind of friends. Any friend that does not respect what you respect is not worthy of you. Just don't know. I've said that before, I'll say it again. A friend that does not respect your faith is not worthy of your respect. A friend that does not respect your pastor is not worthy of your respect. Mm. Trying to make you undermine the grace of God upon your life or upon the life of those that are blessed. You need to watch out for such things. Are you listening? Yes, yes, sir. Don't think that you correct them. Don't think they can't convince you. Mm. You know, as we start with that scripture, evil communication corrupts you. Corrupt you. In fact, it says, don't be deceived. Mm. That means there is a tendency to think that it cannot affect you, mm. but it will affect you. You see that they are talking about your man of God, and you think that it's actually to hear more. Mm. It's wrong. You tell them that's the man that blesses me. Yes. I can't be listening to you insult a man that speaks over my life and expect to be quiet. Mm. Your father may be a drunkard, but if anybody abuses him, tell him I will give it to you. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Yes, yes, sir. Your father may be carrying a ball, like this. everybody knows that, and he's actually naked. Let anybody say, see your drunk papa. Hey. Hey. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. If you look like the person has injured you something, mm -hmm. you take it off and say no. It, it might be my a drunk father, but you, that gives no right to abuse you. Mm -hmm. That's your temporal father. We are privileged to be watching over you. I can tell you some of you, your parents will pray for you like I pray for you. Yes, I say that to your face. Yes, not because they don't care, but there is not that duty. <laughs> Me, I take it up as a charge. I wake up at night. I do what I must do. List your names for real. Make sure that I'm not sleeping. So you hear, you just think it's casual. That's because that's why God can touch you. Because the action that should come from you is not there. You're just thinking that pastors, you don't know which pastor is king. So, me that pray for you, I'm big, huh? <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I put it to your parents, may not be praying for you like I have prayed for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I say it again. Go and ask them how much you pray for you. Go and ask them. That it is somebody's duty to be praying for you. You now know that what we're doing, and I'll talk to you if I'm looking for respect. I already am respected in the family. Mm -hmm. I'm not in, I'm not in deserted. Please come in if you're coming in on time. Come whatever that person. Come in, come, come, in, come, come quickly, please. Eh? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, are we together, please? Yes. Yes. So, what I want you to see is number one, avoid fear. Number two, avoid wrong, wrong friends. friends. Some friends are very subtle. They hang around you till they see that they can. Some of them don't even know that they are the time bomb set up and they decide to destroy you. Mm. So you need to be vigilant. Yes, sir. Some of our friends that are our friends. Mm -hmm. Do you know you can be guilty by association? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Just by being remotely connected to someone. Sometimes the police takes the person's phone, they check the last person. A criminal called oh, or rather indicted. <laughs> are you aware of it? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like, just come, I don't know anything. It's just that way I am. I remember that time that they were looking for Oko Jowala's mother. I don't know if you remember that story. Uh, Professor Oko Jowala. There was a time that she was kidnapped. The mother and him. Eh? You remember the thing? Was your yes, pastor just there for something? Yeah, I'm there for one of them. There was one guy that. Was in our church. I, I don't like him actually being around us. Uh, he said his name, his phone was the one used to call one person that wanted to sell the food. Wow. Do you know, by that thing, they were almost wrapping the man of God inside. I have no business. Do you understand? No, that's why it's not every church member, it's church member. Some people say, let him come to my church. I don't come, don't come. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because it's the most that God brings us to speak. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are some of your friends you've invited them. There's nothing you can do to them. If their heart is wrong, it's wrong. And that's why I'm saying I'm not tasting. I want to grow. We are growing. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, I can assure you we are growing. But I'm not desperate for members. Some are devils waiting to happen. Mm -hmm. Frustrated people coming from somewhere that they're looking for it to drop their heart. <laughs> Somehow they wanted to start to move back. I like you guys, your heart. Hey! If you 
his joke, stop it. I don't call my number again. Do you understand that kind of thing? Yes. Because police sometimes say, you even woke up and they want to just <laughs> you know, smuggle the gist of this. That's how one crazy guy stood in front of our former church that time. I said, man of God, I said, what's your problem? He said, I, 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 I need help. I want your help. He said, I need transport to leave Nigeria like this right now. I said, what's the problem? He said, I'm a hitman. He said that he has been convicted that this was this my program on radio. I said, 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 that's what he said. And me, I weigh issues as you are talking. I don't I don't preempt you. It's as you are talking, I'm weighing. As you are talking, I'm weighing. If you are saying rubbish, I'm seeing rubbish. I, 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 I like that. I give everything back. So as I was talking, I was sensing that this guy telling the truth, you know. What would I do with this information? What's the implication? You know, I'm also a security person, so I am a little amount. So as he was talking, I was missing bah, 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 bah. He just asked me because I said, What do you do? He said, I need money to leave Nigeria now, otherwise I'll be dead. I said, who do you work for? He told me, oh, those are around, you know, who I'm talking about. I cannot mention them. But he told me, to me, just to tell me that South Africa has a hit, and I was telling him that it's not and I did what I said, I don't get it now. I don't think that's right. Right in front of Okwebi. I said, are you there now? He said, yes, I'm there. I said, can I send somebody to you? He said, yes. He told me where the person should be. I sent somebody to him, a lady. And when they committed to me, he not tell one day I was in church, and I just got a call. Pastor, what God has done for you? Nobody will be there. He said, That's in front. I came to the Church of God, the redemption camp, some years or months or something like that. He said, That 2000 seems like that. That the people that wanted to kill him are dead. Right. That I should be innocent. You know, we're just rejoicing and we've got that Christmas around that is now born again. Wow. It's wrong. It's Why should he come? I told him the story of that gentleman. 
She was using church laptop for Yahoo Yahoo. Mm -hmm. I told you that story. Who <laughs> Yahoo Yahoo? Was coordinating destinies. <laughs> <laughs> You know that film that just came out? One film like that. This film now that the guy yeah. Agrimony. Now the real not complex. How do you know that film? I said before, man. Agrimony. The film came out, so the couple solution wanted to discuss it. You know that now. You know we do couple solution. We used to go house to house to do couple solution. That's like we would receive that is like you know, that's what we find. That's how we find it. So I was to watch it in Corpus Fellowship Coordinator was asking that so I didn't watch it. And I said no. Yeah. So they sent it to me and I think I just told them to collect it on the laptop. And you know I can be complicated if you know me. Yes, I just can't like, ah, you guys like that, like that, like that. <laughs> like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. So you had no chance to close this. He was coordinating this. <laughs> So I was very taken aback. You know, when you don't want to believe something, you know that's how No, it cannot be. It cannot be. It cannot be. It was. It can be. And so it was. Did you watch the film? The next time, the person was still there. I read some things. I was like, I'm reading the history of charts. 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 Down there. He left like there was nothing. You know how people go like this? And he complained from outside to somebody else, not shouting. Somebody else. Hey, why did you shout that to me? After all I've done for you. I see him. You did something for me. You know, like, you want to put me in trouble. Church of Michelle, you know that kind of thing I say. They actually first time asked me about inside shape. So you see that sometimes something that around you that you should. Yes, sir. I knew it's easy to believe that a pastor is actually a pastor. Right. Right. Ah, he said that. Mm. It's been a few years now, right? This thing has been like that since. All this pastor that used to be out there. You know that kind of thing. When I came back from Brazil, one of my jobs, he said, Man of God, please follow up. You know, some of this uh, effort you do, if you don't give yourself in or feel like you are too focused, you want to show that you know your work. So he says, Sir, you come to the West of Brazil. <laughs>
about form, structure, communication. Communication. How we get to play story? Yes, in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 36, it says that if you have patience, and after you have done the will of God, and my inherit the promise. Hebrews 10, 36, Hebrews 6, 12, 36. See that patience says what? For you have need of patience. That after you have done the will of God, you might receive the promise. Patience and for a great destiny. Alright? Number next, distraction. Is alternatives. Mm. Um, <coughs> alternatives. Sometimes you know what I want to do. The alternatives can take you off course. Yeah. You want to stay focused. Are you listening? Yes, yes sir. sir. Stay focused. God wants us to stay focused. So you have the same thing also there. That you did not slot for the followers of them. Faith and patience. patience. It's talking about the same promise. The first one right after you have done the video. Faith and patience. Some people, just when they start, they don't have their meeting to stay. Mm. Mm-hmm. You can't go to every school, you can't go to every school, you can't go to every school, you can't go to every school. No. Be patient. In that message, we hear one. So that all persistent pursuits. Persistent pursuits. You don't start on the start in business. Now. Things don't work in the business. Mm-hmm. Big time. Yes, Science has revealed that every business that will really make sense will first of all have a life five years in Spanish. Five years. You start playing on space and not seeing things. What do you want to see? <laughs> what do you want to see? Calm down. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Uh, keep improving on your features. Be patient. You must learn how to manage small to become big. Mm-hmm. We don't become big just from being big. No, we yes, manage sir. small. We to, as well as big, you must manage it well to become big. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. We must. It's our duty. And that's why I keep saying that when you're in this kind of church, join this church properly. I was telling that, I'm, you know, I mentioned I'm actually the last one. I, I like the way she comes to work out. It's very important for me. And you know, I don't know who told her where she came from. Now she's coming up. Mm-hmm. Put yourself into the system. Learn. Learn. Distraction. Distraction. You know, it's important to know what your priorities are. Listen to me, no cover. Let me say this to you. Make sure that your priorities are not just for something. Mm. Make sure. Yes, Anytime you, your motivation is to just do something to survive, you undermine God's grace in your life. Mm. Mm. I'll tell you the truth. Some of you, um, you know, they will fix work for you on Sunday. If you are doing your work well, kara kara every day, you will ask for permission for that Sunday. And you keep it. Before you stay past the door, that I have worked with God. Our own time, there was no social media. There was nothing, there was, there was no social editing media or whatever. If you do your work well, sir, they will respect you when you say please, I need to go. Yeah. Because already they are conscious, they are afraid of your God. Mm-hmm. You see, Pastor, it's not like, it's because you are not representing God that business. That's why they are not seeing that you are a God child that can ask for permission. Yeah. I'm saying it to you categorically. Yes, the day you tell them, sir, I will suggest that this book is great, they will take it seriously. Yeah. And you, when you are there, your benefactors, mm. you are seeing the organization already as your God. I'm teaching you because that company that you they are promising now, if you miss it one day, they can sack you. Yes. I've been saying this thing since. Yes. You think that I'm trying to frighten you. Don't, it's not because I said they'll sack you. Mm. So don't think it. But <laughs> what I'm telling you is to say it's possible. Yes. You can look at you and say, well done, thank you. God bless you. You're just a threat. You are a lady doing very well in the organization, and your, your guy is a man. And the wife is concerned that, ah, who is this one that is overdoing? You just don't know why they want to get you. They will give you severance package. Yes. <laughs> Take it well, thank you. Promise. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> they will be blessed with 14 hours. Yes, ah. sir. As I say, know that you are a Christian in the marketplace, not the marketplace person trying to be Christian. Mm. Know who you are. 
And the way I teach you faith here in this church, I'm not teaching you to be spooky. But I'll do as I pay you. Sit down. That's what I teach you. I teach you to do your work well. Yes, sir. To be productive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not to spend the working time for devotion. No. Yes, sir. To do what you yes. must do. Yes, sir. To be diligent. That's yes, what sir. it means there. Yes, that day I did to tell you, I can't go to church. I was in front of Zedifa. There's no money I ain't giving her. That's her name. I can give you facts. Sat with her and said, Do you have any question after asking me? HR manager. That's like HR manager. You know it's HR. You have seen your name is that like, dress just to say well done, well done, well done. Just to do you have any questions? Saturday, I went to see her. I got there. Do you have any questions? I said, Yes, ma'am. Hope we don't work on Saturday. Said, no. Why do you ask? Because I have permission. I was told later that she marked my name and said this was not serious. Because she was the seventh year this person. <laughs> my friend Eden was an HR star. We knew ourselves from the church. I said that pastor died for anything to that pastor. I said, fuck me, then this college. I just went to HR to pass all my documents. And I saw her final document because I never called me back. I said, why did you take so long to call me? I said, ah, said that thank God that they called me. I said, what happened? I said, ah, but I don't want to. I said, what? You only know what I say you are doing a religious of me, a religious of me. I said, well, what changed the game? Then the ED said they were scared. Who was that ED? That was the ED that I, I said, I want to say, I said, I can't talk. I can't talk. No, no, I can't talk. And the man said, ah, who told you? I said, I'm aware. He told me, I said, see, go be part of it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The way you behave, you are too grateful for that job. Mm. Mm. Too for that job. And I don't mean you should not be grateful. But you make that job look like a source. Mm. I know it's paying money, but God can give you money. Yes. yes sir. More than we spend that money on this. Amen. Yeah. I'm telling you, some of us will make money that can use. Mm. It's causing tension in your relationship. Mm. It's causing tension in your family. It's because you are you all you are thinking of is how you spend money on other people. Not even your own life. Mm. Let God be your source. Yes, sir. The audacity with which you and, and I'm not talking about one small machine company. I want to understand. I'm not talking about yes. I just went. Uh, I'm talking about Zenith. If you want to get clear, there's no shame in it. You know me. So I, I'm the public. I used to do the motion for the reason. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not even saying because I was a pastor. Because my thinking like pastor, you know you're a pastor. That's not that. Is that you give God your peace. Yes, sir. That's what I used to tell those who came When they get to UK, they can never be an interest. Mm. How do you influence your benefactor? Because you are grateful that you gave you this out. Hey, hey, hey. I have me that. Tell me that. Tell me me that. How do you go back and say you need something I have? Okay, I don't have anything. You don't need anything I have. The only thing you have I need. <laughs> when you go to that kind of country like a slave, you can't do better. Yes. You can't do better. <laughs> but when you know that you came as a child of God of pockets, you stand on the streets and there's a smile on your face. We go and come back ready like mm-hmm. Because God is our source. Yes, sir. I know what I'm telling you. You know, sometimes some people understand things loose. Mm. They can be looking at you like they understand everything. I don't know. You are even the same person that they know. No. Mm. Just God. God. I assure you, if you take what I'm telling you seriously, you will find out that you're not distracted from God. At some point in your life, you should ask yourself, how much time do I have to do it? Mm. Unless you're not planning to do it. Mm. What how many years do I have yet? We're not so young now. Yes, if some of us print our ID now, nobody is so this to it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So I challenge us to avoid distractions. Number next, number five reason why we are distracted or accepting distraction is lack of counsel. Lack of counsel. And I'll stop with that for you. Oh, we're blessed. Yes, yes, sir. In Proverbs 24, verse 6, it says, Good counsel makes the world better. Who is that way to that thing without counsel? Like that mentoring plan. <coughs> Let me squeeze one more. Okay, so. For my wise counsel, me, thou shalt make thy reward, and the mortal counsel is sin. Counsel, okay? You are sick. Um, okay. 
So we've covered this ground. I want also to ask you to be careful for time wasters. Some people are professional time wasters. They are not going anywhere and they don't want to go anywhere. And they just waste their time. In terms of purpose, you can create, manage, or multiply purpose. Purpose can be for a season, a reason, and for a lifetime. Last time we say before I finally you know, there's one more thing I want to say. Let me just read it. That you must stop second guessing yourself. You must act in faith in your purpose. You must act in faith. David said, "If there not be us, First Samuel 17, 29. There's not a reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. I said earlier really about prophecy that. The child of prophecy, a prophecy helps us ask things of power. So we are showing up prophecy. Right. So we'll stop here for tonight. Now we'll continue by grace of God. Sunday and Okay, God says that we are children of prophets. We are the children of the prophets. Come and say, I'm a child of prophets. I'm a child, child of prophets. What does that mean? We are a child of the prophets. Not just the prophets of God. The prophesying is of prophecy. We came by prophecy. We are children of prophecy. The Bible says in that day that we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, the holy nation. That's what prophet, that's, we are the ones that prophets talk about. We are the priests that sing out that. So it says, and of the covenant which God made with our father, saying unto Abraham, and in my seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. We'll stop here. I think there's something that I've forgotten. I remember I was in school. Yes, sir. We are going to pray. I don't know if 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 I don't